Hello, I'm Ross Overstreet with FLIR Science Segment. Today we're out at a desert test range where we're going to film some high-speed infrared and high-speed visible. Uh, in particular, we're going to be shooting body armor, taking a look at uh, how the bullets interact with the body armor. I'm going to get up in those rocks up there, shoot from one side of the screen to the other and see if we can see bullets in flight. We have a number of customers who are trying to see a bullet in flight. One group of customers wants to inflate airbags or some other means of protecting a VIP or dignitary. The other group wants to automatically respond to the sniper. Another thing we're going to do is shoot some tannerite. Tannerite is a small explosive that explodes when a bullet hits it, and it's a decent simulant for improvised explosive devices. We have lots of customers who study IEDs. Another thing we're going to look at is weapon mechanics. We're going to take a look at uh, slide cycling on a couple of pistols and bolt cycling on some AR-15s. So here we have the FLIR X6900SC. This is the fastest full resolution infrared camera on the market. It provides 1,000 frames per second at 640 by 512 resolution. We can window it down and go even faster. For example, at 640 by 256, we can do 2,000 frames per second, and 640 by 128, it'll do about 3,800 frames per second. Some of the unique features of this camera is this is our first camera with onboard RAM. We can save 26 seconds of data to the RAM inside the camera. Then we can have it copy that RAM buffer to a solid state hard drive located on the back of the camera. This makes it very easy to offload the data and get it back to a PC. After a number of shots, you can simply pull the solid state hard drive, take it back to a PC for download, stick a new SSD in, and take more recordings. Alternately, if the camera is far away or not in a safe location, we can stream the data out of the camera via gigabit ethernet. The camera beside is a high-speed visible camera from IDT. One of the things that we're doing today is we're going to synchronize thermal and high-speed visible so that they both open their shutter at exactly the same time and run at the same frame rate. This is going to let us get the same data set in both thermal and visible. We think we'll see different types of information in each wave band and they'll be complementary. Another neat feature of this FLIR X6900SC is it has our first in-house designed and built optic on the front. This is the 100 millimeter optic. At the moment we have 25, 50, and 100 available. We have a lot more coming. This one is manual focus, so you twist the focus ring to manually focus it. And it also has a focus lock, so if you don't want it moving around, if you're in a high vibe environment, you can lock the focus. Additional lenses will be computer controlled, so we'll be able to control the focus from a remote location. 